Let's play a little game. Guess how many coins I've got hidden in my fist. Go on, have a guess. If you guessed anything other than two coins, I'm afraid you're going to have to go and buy me a round. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. Now, you're probably wondering what that was all about. Well, I'll get onto that in a little bit. But today, I've got the first of three ciders that I bought when uh, my fiance and myself, we took a little um, weekend break away in Bristol last month. And um, I visited the Bristol Cider Shop while I was up there, which has got really a, a great choice of ciders. Um, despite it being such a small shop, uh, it's just got, yeah, a great selection of real proper quality ciders. And you can also have a drink there as well. So with that said, this is the first of the three. It is from the Green Ridge Cider Company, and it's their spoof, traditional cider. Um, the reason I'm doing this is it is actually a little bit out of date as well, but as has been shown, best before dates, they're just a guideline. They don't actually mean a lot. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, small batch number one, grown, pressed and bottled in Herefordshire. Uh, this comes in 500ml bottles and is 6% ABV. Any other ones will be down in the description below. So yeah, what was uh, that, that little thing all about at the start? Well, let's have a little read on the back. Medium dry, gently sparkling. A small batch, single harvest cider made from Herefordshire cider apples. Deep golden colour with a heady balance of sharp and sweet apple and mouth-watering tannins. Spoof. A game played in local Herefordshire pubs. Here's how. This works best with a big group of people. Everyone pulls one, two or three coins out of their pockets, then conceals them in their fist. Players guess how many coins there are in total. If someone guesses correctly, they are eliminated. Play continues until one person is left and must buy the next round. You can't repeat someone else's guess, and if no one guesses correctly, start a new round. So there we go, a little, um... I actually learnt something from this um, cider, actually. Didn't realise that that was actually a thing, but there we go. Bring back pub games, it says right at the, right at the bottom there. Contains sulfites and made and bottled by Green Ridge Wines Limited. So I'm guessing this is more, um... Uh, a winery, or a winery, that's, um... Yeah, I've got a couple of ciders as well. So yeah, really do like the uh, the little um, design on the label there. Nice, nice, nice and well, I'd say nice and plain, but yeah, got the old cogs on the on the top there and everything. Looks really cool. So looking forward to trying this one. Never heard of the company actually, so it would be interesting um, to see what this one is like. So let's get. I can smell it already. Let's get with. Hmm. Really love. Oh, that's a really pleasant smell actually. Slight um, acidity, uh, I'm getting there. Slight acidity is some. Um, it's oh, it's, it's 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 yeah, it's it's sharp. It's and yet it's also got a little bit of sweetness, um, just like underneath that. Mm, smells smells really really good. Let's uh, get it poured in the glass. Can't see any sediment, but let's just get it all poured out then. Smells really nice, actually. Nice uh, mixture of um, sweetness and sharpness coming off the nose there, but we'll see. Forget anything else on the glass. Pop that to one side for now. So yeah, there we go, going for the colour, and well, yep, yeah, lightly sparkling, as you can see. Lovely little golden colour there, you know, um, nothing too heady on the old carbonation front there, but looks just really nice and pleasant in the glass. So, any more smells? It's a, oh wow, yeah, it can... Oh, now it is smelling really tannic. It's get, getting like um, caramel, toffee, a treacly sort of notes off the nose now. Bit of, um, bit of the, uh, bit of the old apple skin there too. Oh, but di totally different smells off the glass than it was on the bottle. So uh, I'll be, well, it's interesting to see what this is actually gonna taste like, but if it smells as good as it tastes, I'm on to a winner. Cheers, guys. Here's to Green Ridges Spoof Cider. All the way from, uh, well, Herefordshire, but bought in Bristol. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big on the old tannins. Mmm. Oh, let's get a second opinion. Mmm. 
it's um it is quite sharp when it first hits your taste buds so you can really taste the the acidity the tartness um but i mean it's making my mouth water it's just got just really really juicy as it's going down it completely changes taste when it's going down your throat the tannins then it like really like hit you with pack you know, hit with a wallop i can't even really speak to it to be honest um but yeah completely changes the, the tannins just come through overpower the um the sharpness that was initially there leaves it um with a like quite a smooth um smooth mouthfeel actually quite mousse like in its consistency it's uh, got a little bit of uh, frothiness maybe from the carbonation or somewhere but yeah it's definitely got sort of like a mousse like consistency behind it um and it just, it, it's li left my mouth feeling really like refreshed really juicy um which is not what you would expect when you um initially taste this cider uh you think oh wow it's going to be a really like sharp and puckering one but it really does mellow out and those tannins really come through um lovely really really nice i'm um i'm really impressed with this so let's get a final taste before our final verdict mm. oh that's top quality mm. oh that is that is that is lovely that really really is that has got so much complexity behind the taste um the way that it can change uh, its its taste, its consistency, and its texture and its mouth feel, um, brilliant! It's just yeah, really, really, really nice. I can't I, don't, I can't think of any other adjectives to actually you know how to describe this um, how to describe the cider. But I mean, it it labels it on the back there, and it does exactly what it does, and it does it absolutely brilliantly. Um, so. Green, Green Ridge Company, I mean, fantastic, you know? Um, so, with that said, I am very easily gonna go and give a Green Ridge Traditional Ciders number one spoof small batch, whatever you want to call it, a 9.5 out of 10, and the Cider Drinker seal of approval. That is the first one for this uh, period, and I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be the last. So, with that said, that is another episode of the Cider Drink for you guys. I hope you liked it, and as usual, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. Till then, my battery has just suddenly decided to start dying, so I'm going to go and finish off this glass of beautiful Green Ridge Spoof traditional cider. Take care, guys. Until next time.